Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature in Acumatica 2021 R2 for paperless picking. So this has been a long requested feature. In previous versions of Acumatica, you would print out the pick ticket and the pick ticket would direct you as to what bin location to go to. So if we quickly take a look at our shipments, and we'll pick any shipment that's maybe open. And we'll print out the pick list. This is the form you would use. You'd print it out and you'd scan the shipment to get started. You scan the shipment off the piece of paper and then it would show the list of items that you needed to pick. You would go based on that list and on the pick ticket, it shows you what location you need to go to in order to find this item. But in this version, 2021 R2, that's now all changed. So if we take a look at this sales order, it's currently in an open status. So we haven't released it to the warehouse yet. We can create a shipment to get it started. Or of course, we can go to our process screens, process orders, use the action to create shipment, which will show all of our open orders where Acumatica will go through, test each of those orders to determine stock availability, requested date, and all of those things. But in this case, we'll go to this specific sales order and we'll create the shipment. This is coming out of the wholesale warehouse. So now we have the shipment. Now again, in previous versions, we take the shipment and then we'd print out the pick list. Once again, we would use a process screen. So we would use the process shipment screen and again, use the action to print all our pick lists. But now in the last couple of versions of Acumatica, we have this create pick list screen. So the create pick list screen was for creating wave and batch pick lists. And that functionality still exists. And what you would do is you would go through and you would create these wave pick lists and batch pick lists and print out the pick lists, hand those out to your pickers and then let them use the printed copies to direct them to the right location. But now you'll notice there's also single shipment pick lists. But now in 2021 R2, you can now use your mobile device and the mobile device will tell you where to go and what to pick. So we'll go into our action. We'll create a single shipment pick list. We'll pick our warehouse. And you can see our different shipments. The shipments that we just created is this one right here. And with this create pick list screen, you can see many different filters. You can filter by customer. If you have a customer's big order and you want to take care of all of them, you can ship by carrier. If you're focused on maybe getting federal express out the door because their cutoff time is coming soon or delivery method. You can filter by specific inventory items or bin locations if you want to. So all of this functionality was here already, but what's new is now this checkbox for send to pick and queue. So if we select that and we select the shipment or shipments, in this case, we're just going to select one and we click process. We've now sent this to a new screen called picking queue. So if we go over to it and we'll refresh it, select our warehouse, you can see we have a queue for our pickers. So these are all the shipments. You could filter by different type of pick list. So single wave batch. You can filter by picker. Of course, we don't have anybody assigned yet. But this list will give you the visibility as to what's going on to the warehouse, who's picking what, and how long have these pick lists been waiting in the queue. So let's get back to that in a second. First, I want to show another screen called Managing Picking Queue. So the Managing Picking Queue has different actions. So what we saw before with this one item in the queue, a single shipment, we have the ability to perform different actions. So when we created our pick list, we immediately sent it to the picking queue. So this action has already been done from the create pick list. But the other options are to change the picking priority. So if we select our wholesale warehouse here, 
we can see all of our different shipments and the one we just added to the queue, but we can select the ones we want and change their picking priority. This will get your pickers to select the higher priority ones or the urgent ones quicker and get those out of the way and then finish off the high and the medium and the low in that order. The other action we have is the ability to assign pick lists. So what we can do here, notice the process parameters changed, is select a picker and select all of the different pick lists in the queue to that specific picker. That'll show up on the handheld for that particular user. And then lastly, we have the ability to remove from the picking queue. Now you don't need to assign a picker, but what Acumatica will do is when we go into the handheld, we're gonna do that in a second, when we go into the handheld, we have the ability to tell the handheld where we are. We could scan the current bin location that we're closest to. And then Acumatica will direct you to that next picking list. So let's bring up our handheld. We'll go into warehouse management and we'll select pick, pack and ship. So notice the screen is a little bit different than you may be used to. It says scan the pick list number, which you have an option to do, or click next list. So before we do that, if we go back to the picking queue, we looked at this just a minute ago, there's an option to start watching. So a warehouse manager can turn this on and monitor the status of all the pick lists. So if we go back to the handheld, I'm just using a iPhone here, and we select done just to get this out of the way, and we click next list, Acumatica asks you to scan the nearest location. So we can put a location in there. I'm just going to type it in. And then we'll scan the tote that we're using. Notice in the background, Acumatica has updated this picking queue to show that the admin user is actually doing the picking. Even though there was no assigned picker, it's monitoring and showing which picker took it. So we'll select a tote. And now notice Acumatica, even though I'm in a different location, bin location, Acumatica is specifically telling us to go to row one, shelf one, and pick the AA computer item with quantity one each. So let's stop for a moment. Acumatica knows that this item is in row one, shelf one, and it's directing us accordingly, even though we're in a different bin location. So it's moving us in the direction, the closest direction, the closest bin location that we can pick this item. So we'll scan this item. And to do that, I took the liberty of going into the shipment and actually printing the pick list. Normally you wouldn't do this, you'd actually scan the item. But in my scenario, I don't have these physical items. So I'm gonna switch my tab over to the pick list. And now I'll open up my camera. We'll scan our Acer laptop. Okay, and you can see that one's done. That's been added to the tote. And now it wants me to go to the same bin location and pick the AA Lego 500. There's quantity 10 of them. Now I could scan this 10 times, but instead I'll hit set quantity and type in 10. And now I'm done. And what you can see here is in addition to this being picked, we've gotten the message. We go back to our picking queue and we open it up and then we'll go back and bring up our mobile app and click finish and next. You can see now that that pick list has been removed from the queue. So this is a warehouse manager's dream. There's nothing on the list. So that's it. That's paperless picking. You saw me do it here with an iPhone. Of course, an Android device 
For example, one of the Zebras with a gun-loaded scanner. Those are much better, easier to use than trying to use my camera to scan. So thanks so much. If you have any questions about this or any other feature at Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.